welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hope you're having a great day. As you can tell from the title today, I'm going to be sharing with you my experience with the Mori hair care product line. So they were absolutely wonderful and sent me a box of products. So that was two shampoos, one conditioner, hair mask, and a hair growth spray, which was super, super killer awesome, really fun. The first box arrived and it was kind of exploded, which was really sad. I let them know and they immediately sent me another one, which came within two days. So if you ever run into trouble with a hair care product, just send them an email and I'm sure you'll get a new one too. I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you before I describe how well this product works after one week of use, all right? So I used the entire line for one week, but before I give you that review, we're gonna take a look at the product and I will describe to you the scent and the texture. We'll go from there. So as you can see, we have a lovely brown box that suggests we're looking at natural beauty, if I'm translating correctly, but that is to be seen. Oh, this product really did work to get here. In fact, it came twice. But as you can see, we've got our packing peanuts, and we've got our shampoos, and we've got our conditioners, and our hair growth spray. Look at that second shampoo all ready to go. And a nice hair mask. Aren't they all pretty lined up together in a row? So perfect. So first, let's take a look at the ultimate growth spray. I mean, it's got a lot of ingredients. None of them seem too sketchy. It's cool that there's hydrolyzed silk. I think that's pretty neat. And you know what? It sprays nicely. It comes out and it's kind of clear. And it smells like bergamot. I'm not sure why. I'm wondering if there is some bergamot in here. Whatever the case, it's pretty light on the hands. It's not sticky and feels nice. Now if we're going to take a look at the shampoo, I know that shampoo is always tricky because you want something that is going to clean your hair but that is also gentle. Looking at this, we're again faced with paraben, fragrance, cruelty, silicones, SLS, and GMO free. I mean there's nothing better than knowing your products are good. It's interesting there's caffeine in here though. I'm not so sure how I feel about caffeine. 77 minerals seems like almost enough. Five vitamins, 18 amino acids. I mean let's just pump up our hair with some juicy goodness and see what happens. But I have to say, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Normally I just get Dove shampoo and that seems to make it smell good. I'm pretty sure it's not nearly as healthy for my hair. So let's let's take a little look and see what we have in here. All right, so the bottle's a little bit slimy, which is a little concerning. But you know what? For all the delicious goodness inside, I think I can handle a little bit of that. No big deal, no big deal. So it's nice, it's clear. And what does it smell like? Again, I'm getting orange. It smells like orange. And you know me, I love coffee, so anything with caffeine in it, I am going to love no matter what. And what is a fulvic mineral? Well, I don't know, but if you want to look it up, it's spelled F-U-L-V-I-C, and it's going to remove excessive free radicals. You know, this shampoo sounds like it could be the cure for cancer. Next, we have the mineral conditioner. Again, paraben, fragrance, cruelty, silicon, SLS, and GMO-free. Mori has it all, and it's going to have minerals, amino acids, vitamins, same thing. I'm interested in the macadamia nut oil, though. That's good. And coconut oil. Those are some of my favorite things to eat. So putting them in my hair, no brainer. I love the box for this mask. It is so beautiful. Just a simple yellow and brown box. And the packaging is clean and simple. I really do like it. It makes me think of an apothecary. Beautiful stuff here. Again, we're looking at caffeine and coconut oil. So I am going to like this. The texture is just like butter, though, I have to say. All right, now for the review. I want to first give you some context about my hair. If you've been watching my videos lately, you'll have wondered why my hair seems to be so much darker and redder than it was in my last video. Now, I wasn't going on a crazy coronavirus bender. I actually am preparing for a fall practicum in a program that I'm in, and I wanted to go back to my natural hair color, cut it shorter, try and have a cleaner, more polished aesthetic for what I'm doing. And I was worried that I would have a hard time keeping up the blonde. I also wanted to see if there was any way I could grow out my hair and stop damaging it with 30 volume bleach every six weeks. So I decided to go back. I, I used the Olea dye because it said it was nice and oily and it was supposed to make my hair healthy, but it still, it, it didn't manage to do the color correction that I wanted. You should never buy a box dye, by the way. That's bad idea. If you're trying to get your hair fixed at home and you buy a box dye, you don't know what's in there in terms of developer, how strong the product is, how it's going to react to your hair. I'm not a professional. I should have asked for help. I didn't. So instead I bought a second box dye. I bought the most expensive one at the grocery store. It was on sale, but it was, you know, top shelf stuff. The Schwarzenegger took off and put it in my hair. It made my hair feel really nice. It made my hair look really dark. And then I took one shower and it all washed out because my hair at that point 
was already colored, already damaged, I needed to do something else. So then I took some baking soda and dish detergent. And with that, I washed out some of the color, not all of it. I then proceeded to do a 10 volume bleach bath with some shampoo, got a whole bunch more carrot, <laughs> whole bunch more color out. My hair was looking super carroty. I'll insert a picture right here. And that wasn't gonna go for me. So then I finally deposited a dark blonde color with 10 volume. And that was from the ice cream brand, which I love and you can buy at Shoppers. Beautiful, good, jolly, happy times. Let's go on from there. This is what we were dealing with. How did the Mori product work? After one week and three showers, I know that's a lot of showers for this week, but I was really running hard. You know, my five kilometers was eight kilometers on one of those days. I have to say it worked really well. This is actually not styled hair at all. I took a shower this morning and I used the shampoo and I used the conditioner and I used the hair mask. And then I went spritz, spritz, spritz with the hair growth serum. This guy here. Smells so good, it's like bergamot. Could I wear it as perfume? Maybe, I could, maybe. I have a couple of things to report. Naturally dried, air dried hair in Calgary. It's very dry here, so it's not hard to dry your hair. This is way less frizz than I'm accustomed to dealing with. Notice how fine my hair is. And notice the lack of frizz. This is a mystery to me. My entire life, I've had very poofy, frizzy hair. I've done all kinds of things, and most of them haven't worked to try and control the frizz. And for some reason, this combination of shampoo and conditioner seems to be helping with that. Another thing I've noticed too is now, okay, I know I'm using a deep conditioning mask, so my hair had better feel soft. But yes, it does feel soft. Does it feel like soft is better? No, but it certainly feels softer than my hair usually does, and much softer than it should based on the fact that I have bleached the living daylights out of it. So I'm a pretty happy camper here with the hair situation. If you would like to try out this product line too, I just want to give you a quick disclaimer. I typically only use very inexpensive shampoo and conditioners from Kirkland and from Dove, from the grocery store. I don't spend a lot of time or money on hair care. I would love your tips, let me know below. But my very um, positive experience with this might be because I just don't have a lot of experience with what I consider to be high-end hair care, all right? So this line works really well for me. I think my hair looks better than ever, despite what I've done to it. I think that you could consider purchasing it. I am not sponsored by Mori. They did send this to me for free, which is super cool. I will include a discount code in the description below as well as up here in case you miss it down there. Go to the website, check it out, tell me what you think. If you want to see a six week follow up on this product line, I will do that for you. Just let me know in the comments below if you want to see how a longer term use works cycling through the entire product line. Is it a, worth over $100? To purchase this for your hair all that to say thank you so much for watching if you found this helpful if you found this product line interesting i definitely want to know let me know below and if you have any recommendations for dry fine damaged hair care let me know by the way i also cut my hair can you tell can you tell i cut my own hair i swear this isn't a, a pandemic uh situation this is just this is just uh normal normally i get my husband to cut my hair but i cut it this time you can tell in the back because it's a little uneven, right? Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm super insecure about my hair. It was a real growing moment for me to come on this forum and talk about it. If you have any hair horror stories or anything you'd like to share, let me know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you find it interesting. Have a beautiful day, you guys. Thank you for watching.